Now the next step is we're going to put even more um, bubbles. We're going to uh, do the top portion of her head now. So if we go and click over to our bubbles bit, and we've also still got the selection made, and we're just going to click the move tool. We're going to drag and drop again to our image. We're just going to cover the face, bring the opacity down like that, somewhere like that. Press Ctrl and T to free transform. We're going to bring the bubbles down so somewhere like that. Maybe turn it something like there. That would be quite good. And then click the tick icon once you've got it perfect. And then from here we're going to go and erase again. Bring the brush up. Just work really quickly. Just take all the stuff off. Now you're going to have to be a lot more um, patient and you're going to have to spend a lot more time than I'm spending on it. Bring the opacity down and take this line away like that. And we're going to do the same with the legs like we did. We're going to drop the uh, blend mode to hard light. We're going to press Ctrl and U. Like that. And we're going to bring the saturation to minus 79. Now you can play with the opticity here. The opacity, sorry. <laughs> Don't know what I'm talking about there. Somewhere around 36% looks okay for mine. Now make sure you do play around uh, with the settings. Um, also, if you want, which I'm not going to show you on this, it's just the same principle at the end of the day. It is just drag and drop the bubbles from this section here. And just do the same with the arms. Um, to put more bubbles in the arms and stuff like that. And makes it a lot lot better now we're going to incorporate the gradient now so if we click the gradient on like that uh, what the gradient does is blend everything in so it looks um, uniform so we've got like the blues from the sea and stuff like that now it isn't looking all that great at the moment but we're going to make it uh, see through so it does look like water and that's for the next step in this section what we're going to do is if you look at the image you'll see that the mountains in the background are a bit unaligned and it looks a bit really weird now we're going to take that out and we're going to redo that bit so if we click the eraser tool and we click on layer 8 which is the layer that's making our uh, woman look in, you know see through we're just going to take the mountains out like that so we take that bit out now what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we're going to click all of these layers off so we don't see them like that and we're going to work on the original image so layer zero now from here we're going to go and select the pen tool like from here and we're going to select this portion right here to the right of her so this just cut that out so make a selection from here and you would just want to be a little bit accurate with this bit you don't want to go too far and hit the water because it won't look right otherwise and we're just going to grab that bit we're going to right click and we're going to uh, click make selection and then click OK you want to make sure that the feather radius is 1 and then we're going to hit the uh, quick selection tool hover over it right click and press layer via copy now once you've done that we're gonna it's gonna say layer 9 above layer 0 so we're gonna drag that all the way at the top like so 
like that and we're going to click and bring all of these images back so we can see them all the way to layer 1 now we're going to uh, go to the selection tool, the move tool work on layer 9 and we're going to bring it over like here and then we're going to put the blend mode to overlay like that now from here we're going to hit uh, the edit we're going to hit transform and we're going to hit flip horizontal so it goes down like this and you want it somewhere around there now that looks great now we just needed this portion of the arm right here so we're going to go and duplicate that layer now you can right click and press duplicate or you can just drag and drop to there so if I just do that now we've got another one and we're just going to drag this over here you're going to hit the control and T to free transform and we're going to rotate it so it just matches um, the alignment so once you've done that it should match up like so and we're going to hit the tick icon to hold it into place now we're going to go to the eraser tool and we're just going to take out bits that don't actually match up perfectly like there and like that and now we're going to bring the opacity down and go to layer 9 and bring the opacity down on that side as well because we don't need it to stand off uh, offish sorry and now that is looking pretty perfect now that's the uh, finished tutorial now you can have it like uh, that and you can experiment with loads of different um, things if you've learned something else you can also put this into that image now what I want to talk about is if you're um, working on a different image um, say a different photo you want to make sure that you're working on the skin um, uh, areas and not the clothes because you don't want the clothes to be you know water as well because it I don't think it'll look right so if you've got that it's basically the same principle all the time so just follow these steps and you've got it pretty perfect now I have um, swapped and changed um, the effects from the written tutorial because I think it looks much better as it is but you can follow them and you can also follow this one and get you know twice the amount of effect and make your own if you want to so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I'll see you now see you from now bye for now